so I've never even played this on normal. Oh, really? That might this be an experience be. then. How's it going, Ness? Thank you for luck. So this, uh, this intro is interesting, considering this was published in May 20, 2001. If they'd waited for maybe another, say, seven months, this would have not passed, uh, whatever kind of, uh, whatever regulations they had at the time. Oh, I didn't actually, I was on the, the title screen already. I see. Shit. I have started. Uh, well, it's, it's not I exactly a race. We're just trying to work together on this. Just trying to beat it at all. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go ahead and adjust the volume a little bit more here. This calculator just bad. Okay. So what is the difference between hard mode and what's, what makes it hard? Uh, the difference is mainly that bullets, instead of one damage, take two damage, and direct hits take six damage instead of four. And that's pretty much it. Whoa, yeah, I just touched something and lost half my health. Yeah. the audio level a little bit more. Well, I have to wait to see if anybody actually shows up to my stream to ask them yeah. what the audio level is sound like. Okay, I think we're good on my end now. Okay, that seems to be a power-up. Yes, it was! That was... I have no idea what that was. Yeah, this game is a little... Also, I got hit by some bullets. Oh, and then I died, because I couldn't even see those bullets, because they were in front of me. Yeah, get used then to I that. Ran into something, and... Ow. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me. That's, that's how this game goes, pretty much. I don't... Oh, I think I just got a full heal. Hey, Yuki, how's it going? I just exploded, and I don't know why. If you're at the full heal, you were either at half health and you got hit by a oh my fighter, God. or you ran into a barrier. I think I ran into a barrier, because okay. I was at full health. Okay, then that's the barrier. Yeah, you have to shoot the up, down, left, and right most points. See the little... There's, there's going to be, I think, one or two more barriers. So, when you see the little white parts... At each if I even edge. make it that far, holy crap. Yeah, going into hard mode immediately is definitely not the easiest thing to do. We can start at normal if you want. Oh, heck no. I mean, listen, I've owned this game for 13 years. I've never beaten <laughs> hard mode. I was like, hey, now listen here. <laughs> So are green bullets better than red bullets? That's debatable. They're faster, but less accurate. And I think they deal a little bit less damage. So it's it's kind of, you know, there are pros and cons to almost everything. However, you do want to grab the purple when it starts showing up, and then the yellow after it starts showing up as well. Fuck. I'm just gonna have to be avoiding most enemies, I think. Well, avoidance. Getting in the danger zone of trying well. to shoot them. Is... Oh, thanks, Yuki. You too. Okay, I have. I'm on the stage one boss. Oh, nice. What did that say? Refuser? Repulsor? Refuser. Refuser. I think it's Refuser, but it got mistranslated <clears throat> or something. Well, it might be, um, like, Refuser. Like, Refuse. Uh, yeah. I don't know what's hitting me. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't see those bullets it was shooting, mm -hmm. right? 
that's the like the biggest problem with this game, is that you can't tell where bullets are. In person mm. to your ship. Yeah, definitely. What the crap was I touching? <laughs> that was dumb. And it just game over. Yeah. Oh my god. I never got much beyond that point before like the age of eight, I think. Okay, this is who oh boy. Oh yeah, it's totally refuser because this is a disposal tunnel. Of course. Like it just occurred to me that that was the name of the game. Escape through the disposal tunnel. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing to follow that up. Well, I, I just discovered that it could do that voice like a few months ago, so I've been having fun with it. Stage one now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at neither the stage, stage one. one boss? Yes, thank you. I'm at neither stage one nor the final boss. It would be a very short game. Yes. The trick is usually to um, weave in and out of the mines as they swivel around and just kind of stay slightly to the right and duck down a little bit when they come near you. And then, like, make a very slow semicircle down below while the refuser is shooting at you. That usually handles things pretty nicely. Okay, I'm gonna go with this red power. Now I have double bullets. I think that's a lot better. Because, yeah, I, I think those red bullets are not doing me good. Oh, come on! Stacking power ups are really good. Oh, what the crap, game? They need to, like, actually shoot- Oh, fuck you, game! They have to shoot at me! It doesn't make sense when they just shoot randomly. Yeah. I mean, considering this was a launch title, it's pretty freaking impressive. Oh my god. Say. But, you know, of course. Oh no, it looks- it looks great, I just- mm -hmm. wow. And you know, this was originally going to be a Game Boy Color game called Iridium, but it got cancelled because the Game Boy event is coming up soon, so quickly, and they decided to push to make the launch title instead. They managed to really make use of the Game Boy Advance in a short amount of time. Yeah, it's a, it's a very impressive launch day technique one, nothing else. Yeah, you can tell that it, it's very tech that one way. Yeah. Look, 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 we can make this faux 3D. Look, look at this spinning room, boss. Isn't it radical? It looks so good. Okay. I like this part right here where you can just shoot at the ships and go wherever you want because they literally cannot hurt you. Yep. Okay. Wind bullets again. Let's try and keep this. I died because that fucking ship just fucking kamikaze me. Is still stage one? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm I'm probably not getting off stage. Because there one are actual night. kamikaze ships in the next stage. Okay, well I'm at the boss. No power ups. Ugh. Mm. Meanwhile, I have two extra lives. I will be noting passwords as best I can. Yeah, that's that's worthwhile, for sure. Oh, and I suppose I should mention that when I say I've never beaten hard mode, I mean I've never beaten hard mode in one sitting. Like I've I've beaten it with passwords, but not much sure. progress as far as actually beating it without. Dying first. Oh, bull! 
Honk. Okay, this boss fight's going better, at least. That's good. Let's go, Cobalt. Let's see ya. Lost my first life in the stage here. Oh, shit. So this uh, side pepper fight is going to be a little bit tricky. Oh! Did I hit the oh, yeah. Cobalt likes bull honk. It's the honkiest bull. It's very honky. Or something. <laughs> or no, I think I would say it's the honk from bulls. There! I beat the boss. Nice. Uh, do I need- are these, like, dumb, complicated passwords that I need to write down? Um, it's like eight characters. Maybe ten. Well, yeah, but they're, like, complicated. Yeah, they're dumb and complicated. <laughs> Crap. Oh, uh, yeah, that's- that's... between, um... Asterix? Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's a thing, too. Between, uh... The Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance versions of the Spongebob platformer that I played yesterday. The uh, Game Boy Advance password system is leaps and bounds better. It's like, it's just four characters, very easy to memorize. And then... I, like, at that point, really, they shouldn't be using password systems anymore. I mean, they're true. They, sh they, sh they should just be saving. Yeah, and then on the other hand, there's NSYNC Get to the Show, which is a Game Boy Color game that has battery save for no apparent reason because the game only takes like 15 minutes to beat, even without speed strats. Oh, just ring the one up. You get one ups at 10,000, 20,000, and 40,000 points. Oh, there's that purple power up we're talking about. Yeah, that. There's one more in the stage if you want to see and try to stack it. I'm gonna try, but you know. Yeah. This game very much makes me want to find a copy of the Super Nintendo game Hyper Zone. Hyper Zone. Which is it's like this. It's the flying into the screen. Uh spaceship. Oh, that sounds super cool. Thing. So Super Nintendo, huh? Yeah. Is it reminiscent of Star Fox in any way? No. No, it's definitely its own thing. Oh, it cool. might predate Star Fox. Oh, wow. I'll definitely want to check it out. I mean, it out. wasn't 3D. It was all. It was like this. It was sprites. Mm -hmm. But presented like 3D. Yeah, it was like flying in the screen. And I just lost my stack to... Uh, Holy crap, this stupid rotating thing! Yeah, that that is oh my a very, very bad thing to have to deal with, I think. So the cool thing in Hyperzone, something I really liked about it, was instead of just picking up power-ups like this, um, if you got to a stage and your score was past a certain threshold, you would just, your ship would get permanently powered up, and, like, the ship would actually change up Oh, dang, that is cool. And there was, like, a special, sh like, secret power-up ship that you could, if you did something special in the first stage or two, um, you get this, like, black ship that was more powerful. Great. And you had, like, charge shots and stuff when your ship started powering up. Um, if you can, go ahead and remind me about that game on Discord after the stream, so I can look it up. I'm definitely Oh yeah, it's like great. It's, like, it's one of those ones that, like, deserves to be remembered a lot more than it is. Ah, uh, gotcha. But it definitely has a following. Cool. Oh, made it to the boss of stage two. Sweet. I only- I died once, and it was because of that stupid rotating thing! Mm -hmm. The boss is Psy Tector. Hmm. Alright. Probably gonna die real bad. This definitely feels like they're kind of aping the, um, the 
alternate first stage boss from uh, Star Fox 64 <laughs> with this guy. Yeah, there are so many similarities between this game and Star Fox, you wouldn't believe it. Or maybe you would. You've seen a lot in your lifetime. <laughs> I know better than to say, oh, you won't believe this. Part, um, I mean, a lot of the similarity is just... Uh, it's just the genre, you know? Right, that's true. Like, they're both into the screenish Also, they make me swear! That's their genre. Swear ups. Swear ups. I like this part where he's just sending out mines. This is easy. Yeah. Come on, the hitboxes on the bullets in this game are bad. Yeah, they're they're Holy crap, did I beat it? I beat it. Sweet. Sounds like you had Whoa! Sounds like you probably had uh all of your power up then. No. Really? Oh, I didn't. That was fast then. Yeah, if if the bullets were easier to see, this would be way better. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely... I mean, that is, um... Air combat above the clouds. That uh, hyper zone has, you know, isn't immune to that problem. Of course. Uh, either. Oh, the yellow power. <clears throat> you told me to get this one when I saw it. Yeah. Oh, so no, currently, Cobalt, the, uh... I, as far as I know, the yellow one's the best. But I don't know. Um, they almost took out the boss without taking damage, which I've never done before. Oh, nice. Now I'm just gonna wail on him. There we go. Because you get your health refilled um, regardless of how low it is at the end of each stage. What is the best power up? You don't get the best power up until you hit the final level, which is the blue power up. It just gives you these massive, heavy, heavy bullets. It's just like boom, boom, boom. Once you get it all the way powered up, the, uh, the sea fighters that were shooting this at that moment stage you die in one hit. Beautiful. We, uh, we need to get copies of Iridium 2. Yes, we do. We should blind race That it. game can really... When I've tried that on emulator, that game can really uh, sweet. It makes me sad that they didn't give unique music to all the uh, bosses in that game. Uh, sorry, I'm trying not to die. Sorry, that's really cool. <laughs> How do I end up with an odd number of health bars? Full honk! Again! Oh, and I died at just the right time, so if the screen transitioned past a yellow power-up I could have used to get back to power, oh, and then I hit a full health I no longer needed. That hurts. Because, of course, I had died and come back with full health. That hurts. Uh. You're catching the, uh, the three diamond dudes in clusters right now. Yes, that are trying to, like, crash into me. I had mentioned before, this is, uh, they made that 3D Gradius, like, mini Gradius game in Zone of the Enders 2, and this is, you know, they did that by making it like this, when you fly into the screen, um, shooting and stuff, it's really cool. This style can be done very well. Blah, 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 no! Don't shoot missiles. Blow up. They're not doing what I asked them to do. Dang it! No, you're all doing that. You, you should be blowing up. Having four ships on stage four is something of an accomplishment on hard mode, so I'm pretty oh, happy with how I'm going so far. Fudge bungles. You are an endless thesaurus. I, these aren't even real words! Well, I didn't... Well, I mean, fudge is a real word, but... <laughs> I, mean, I don't think bungles is a yeah. real word. I just... 
I'm just like, I, when I'm trying not to swear, I make up words and I combine words in really silly way. I mean, I do that when I swear, too. But, right. you know, whatever. Okay, I'm at the third boss with no extra lives. Oh, good luck. You're not gonna live. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Stratosphere base. It looks really cool, though. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll show you. I will totally beat this thing. First try. <laughs> Hard mode. No damage. A Ow! <laughs> Shut up. Ow! Stop it! Yeah, if you don't die, Dang it! If you don't die phase one, you're gonna definitely die phase two. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got a phase one strat. Nice. Oh, I screwed up a little bit. Here. Damn. Okay, phase one done. Phase I died. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> just immediately. Just immediately. And no. He ain't living. The uh, the sad thing about the purple beam is that it looks so similar to bullets. Enemy bullets. Alright. I okay. have one spare hit here. Four bones. I really want to keep my triple, triple, uh, purple, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Time for me to password it up. <laughs> N S X triple B three M H. This thing reminds me of so many different things at once. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. So it um, it remembered my gun. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nicely fleshed out system. It's just that it it sucks how many uh, characters it takes and how incoherent it is sometimes. Yo, the problem I is it. I Let's don't go. seem to. I don't have any lives. And I just lost half my health to a missile. Game to one up. By the way, stage five is almost free as long as you just like hang out around the border. Arrgh! And don't die. The same stupid freaking part! Trying to get the third, like a third. How many times do bullet power up stack? Uh, it's it's only three. Like if you get three in a row, then that's the max. It's I'm mm, I'm really irritated because I came into the stage when I got that password with one life, but when I used the password to start the stage, I came in with no lives. What the heck? So it doesn't remember lives, as far as I can tell. And it doesn't give you, like, a generic... <laughs> ...starting a new game and not alive. That's kind of things. <laughs> Alright, you can feel noted. Hopefully they're just at the moment they're here. 
Yeah, I think he is. I could literally just make it past that one part with all the power-ups. I could probably do this just fine. But come on. Spawn my shit. Sometimes you really gotta watch your pixels in this game. Which is not easy because there are a lot of pixels. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole game's pixels. True. Ah! Ah! Frick! One second, I'm gonna adjust the volume levels. It's all good, no worries. I'm gonna try to not be that loud. It's fine. Ah! Oh, come on! No, oh, no, never mind. I thought for a second there I got it to stage two and died, but no, I just died. I see. Okay, you know what? I actually don't care. I am going to look up passwords and see if there's one that's like, and you have lives too. There is one that allows you to get 13 lives and become invincible, but there's kind of no point. Well, I don't. Know. Yeah. It also gives you the best weapon from stage one. Also, seizure warning, I guess, for this boss is it's flashy. Okay. It looks like I found one where you start with like Alexa. Alexa, shut up. Two cycle. Um. So I found something where I can start with like the best laser for that stage and like a handful of lives. Um. But not like invincibility or anything. So. I'm going to do that, because, uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not practiced enough to be able to pull this off with no lives going into that stage. Yeah, understandable. Alright, as long as I can get past this next stage, I think I have a clear shot to, uh, actually clearing this for the first time in my life. So let's, uh, let's hope for the best. Thanks, Cobalt. Ooh, nice Yuki. Zero. B B F G C H. Okay. Stage three. Well, uh, if you beat this. Oh, yeah. If um if you finish this, uh, we could always go to uh, the other uh, or gym. Yeah. That's right. true. Have you ever beaten the original from gym ever? No. I got stuck in Planet Heck and gave up. <laughs> but let me tell you, Triple Purple is OP in Stage 6. This is incredible. If I decide to actually go for a new, normal, 80% record in this game, I would definitely want to use this game. Terrible joke, Zero. There's been so many into the screen shooters before Star Fox, and so many after. Also, to note, Jason is a huge nerd in that respect, so... Yeah, yeah, I will. He will rant. I'm also a huge pedant, so I will. As in, like, short for pedantic, not um, that other word kind of sounds like. Yeah. Uh, come on, okay, come on. We're actually doing good here. We're actually doing good here. I'm not dead, though, so it doesn't count. <laughs> not dead, hi. Give me, give me the thing. There we go. I have triple yellow laser. I got past that part. Okay, come on. Full health. There we go. Okay. Sick. Now we're doing good. Now we're doing good. Let's go in zero. And you 
Cooper. Where'd he go? Ah! Alright, I'm probably gonna die once, maybe twice here, but... No, 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 no. You gotta have confidence. Well, I just know You gotta go in there with... I'm not gonna die at all. Well, I literally have this no idea how this boss works, so... Like, all I've ever done is just sit here in the middle and shoot at it until one of us died. So, that's what I'm gonna do this time. Maybe someday I can actually bother to figure out how it works. Twice. And there goes the box. Sweet. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, I have two spare lives going into this final uh, button level. Nice. This might happen. Oh god, yeah, if you can maintain fully powered up lasers, like holy crap. That helps so much. One thing can be the passwords that I got for stage four through seven. Oh, I, I've got it. I've got that in the text list in front of me. And that'll give you know, a chunk of lives to suck with. Sounds good. Alright. Admittedly, I just got to the boss without taking with a lot of damage, but I didn't die. Without and enough. all of the all of the lasers are the lasers I would have had using my own password, so. Oh, very cool. Hey Carrie. I don't know how I could have any more pew pews, however, because this is so many pew pews, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the host hero. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so, yeah, so um. Up my pattern! So, this is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, this is Planet Solar. No, it's Solar. Solar. All right. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'll believe you. You know, you 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 know your stuff. Yeah, this this weapon is very very powerful. Now it's like I have no idea how it was supposed to deal with that second form of that boss, but he is dead now. So now I am death incarnate because uh, this weapon is ridiculous. I hope I can make it to the rainbow before I die. Stage four, moon assault. Yo, let's go. Ah, ah. This is the perfect stage now. Oh no, I'm bad. No game, why'd you do this to me? You have betrayed my trust. Don't be bad, be glad. I should. Why at the beginning of stage four does the game suddenly give you freaking green bullet power up? I don't know. <laughs> That's horrible. Well, it did, and now I have green bullets. I would press F to pay respects, but I am currently very well. <laughs> Feel free to press F in chat, by the way. So I think I see what you mean about stage. Was it stage four you said was free? Five. Five. Four is definitely not free. Like, that opening bit was dumb, but now, like, I don't know. They, like, can't shoot me. <laughs> Their bullets are just missing. <laughs> well, if I'm at the top or bottom yeah. of the screen. That's the strat. Stick to the corners. Especially in stage four and five. Ah! Why? <laughs> What the frick, game? Just give me the frickin' power up! Usually I die right there, so that's good. Ugh. Back in. We're about to make history here. 
Okay, Winner is about to beat this game on hard in one sitting for the first time ever. Is that it? Is that it? I mean, what'd you say, 13 years? Go. Yeah. Okay, final boss time. Full health. Two spare lives. Let's go. Full power up. Also, this final boss is totally this Nest Star Fox face. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Andros. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't think his name. All right, so the first. So you want to? Okay, you want to see a into the screen shmup that is like actually actively ripping off Star Fox? I've got that for the PlayStation One. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but. I, I found it just randomly, and I was like, no, oh, I don't like into the screen shmups. This is that's cool. I'll give, I'll pick that up. And I started playing it, and I was just, and I got to certain parts, and I was just like, wait a minute, no, no, and it totally was doing just all the Star Fox things. <laughs> nice. Okay. So it had no an asteroid level. It had a solar, like a you know, a sun planet level. Mm -hmm. It had a. If you remember the boys, uh, like, space station level from Star Fox 64, it had that, including having to destroy shield generators before blowing up the core. No. <laughs> no. It was seriously. And it had a straight-up, like, polygonal, you know, person shooting fucking, you know, rotating uh, di uh, discs, or not discs, um, you know, panels at you, like the original Star Fox on Super Nintendo. I was just... I just, right I there. couldn't even believe that. I couldn't even believe it. Zero is implying that the original face boss was in Arkanoid. Um, I mean, there might have been a face boss in Arkanoid. I wouldn't, I don't know Arkanoid particularly well. This fight um, I was always put off by the dissonance of that name with that genre. Because uh, I was used to that genre being called, like, Brickle or Breakout. Oh. And then all of a sudden this game's like, We made a space opera out of Brickle, bitches! And I was just like, What? Yeah, we did it. Let's what? Go. It, why is this about spaceships? Why is my paddle a spaceship? What is going on? <laughs> this is dumb! You did it, so guys. I never played Arkham. <laughs> that was it. I just beat the boss. Oh, GG winner. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> if I can beat this boss, I, maybe I can be awesome like winner, too. That is to say, like, T-O-O, -O, not like the sequel. Yeah, sequel Alright. Check out our reward. That's, um, that's a, that sounds like a really weird way to flirt with someone. <laughs> you can be my sequel if you want to. We'll be making sequels all night. <laughs> my God. That's, I don't know, maybe you need to take sex at class first. <laughs> Holy crap, I beat that boss without, um, dying. Nice. All right. Oh, man, that's sending me on to stage uh, five. Sweet. So remember, just hang Ooh. around the corners, take it slowly around, around the corners. in a circle, and you pretty much can't okay. die. If you just, like, tap all the way around in a massive circle, you're good. Power up, I've gotten first. We've been live for 39 minutes. So, I guess that was pretty fast, wasn't it? What's your normal mode run? My normal mode run is, I think, 30 minutes and some seconds. Oh, wow. So 30 is possible. Like, clearly, you need to stop running the game on normal and then only run it on hard. <laughs> like a badass. Free world record. <laughs> I mean, you could submit what we just did, and it would technically you know what? Yeah. be the world record. We could. I could. I might actually do that. <laughs> That's kind of the thing about speedrunning, where it kind of falls apart when you think about it, is like, all you have to do is find a game that nobody has registered a run of, and register literally anything where you beat the game in one sitting, and congratulations, you have the world record. Yeah. It's just like nobody will give a crap about that world record, but <laughs> it'll sure be there. Right. You can claim it as a personal accomplishment, absolutely. 
Okay, so I have level 3 purple. I have full health. Sweet. And we're freeing our way through stage 5 at the moment. Very nice. It's a good position to be in. Starblade, the game I was thinking of. The Star Fox Uh, I don't think so. I don't think Starblade is the name of it. Uh, it had like a super, super... I mean, Starblade's a fairly generic name. Of it, but, uh, it had like a pretty, pretty dang generic uh, which, I, a game like that, which game, Cobalt? Uh, sorry, I, I tend to talk pretty fast, and there's a delay, you know, Twitch delay, and yada yada. Let me know, and I will respond again. Very Oh, you're talking about, like, a, an end-of-the-screen shmup on the DS? That's I don't... Off the top of my head, I'm sure they exist. Off the top of my head. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. To enter the gallery, use this password. Wow. Now try again nice. in hard mode. Wait, what? What you just did? Yeah. That's part of why I wanted to run or play through hard mode in one sitting. Because no matter what ending you get, no matter what mode you play on, it always tells you to try again in hard mode. Okay. So I just got through st free stage five. I've got full purple. We're on the boss prospector. Anything I should know? Um, oh, t dude, Cobalt, there's like a billion games nobody's submitted runs on. Half my collection is games nobody has submitted runs on. Um, I don't think so, just, you know, shoot the boss in the weak shoot. point. You can get a two-cycle pretty easily. Oh, uh, man. I love in, um, uh, Earth Defense Force in Sector Armageddon. What's up, Kara? There's this running gag with, um, they keep calling intelligence. I mean, have him, like, tell them anything we know about, like, this new enemy that we're fighting. And eventually it deteriorates into, uh, they're harder, they don't take as much damage, don't get hit. <laughs> One of the times is one of the, my favorite is one of his lines is literally, the trick is to hit them while simultaneously dodging their attacks. Wow, that is yeah, it's like yeah, like it's so good. <laughs> Let's check out the gallery. I actually, uh, to Cobalt, I, I also have a game, I have, even though I'm not much of a speedrunner, I have routed a game, more or less. I have done several runs of it, and it's a game nobody has ever submitted anything. I actually kind of want to, like, make a, a really serious run out of it, but I don't know what I'm doing. It's not a meme game, either. And I play it on the highest difficulty setting, and the game has a built-in high speed mode. Huh. Not a speed run mode. A high speed mode, where the game runs at like 150% speed. Oh, wow. The whole thing, not just your character, the whole game just runs faster. So I play on the highest difficulty with high speed turned on. <laughs> that is pretty extraordinary. Uh, it's... The run is just under two hours RTA. Uh, the game... And the first game, it's a sequel. The first game in the series actually does have a run on speedruns.com. Uh, the game is Gungrave Overpips. I mean, if you check my highlights... Right. That I keep uh, plugging. I have my like last best run highlighted. Uh, what is this game? This is Iridium 3D. A, I want to say a Star Fox clone, but eh, not really. It's, it's ah. Not particularly. But it's it's a Star Fox like. It's it's. I mean, it's really neither. Again, Star Fox didn't invent the end of the screen. But, I mean, you haven't gotten stage, the last stage yet. You haven't seen the final boss. 
Hey, I did. That doesn't mean that Star Fox doesn't, you know, uh, inspire things later. But that doesn't mean that everything in that genre, like friendly reminder, we used to call all first-person shooters Doom clones. That, yeah, all of them. That's true. And that's and that's just because something popularizes a genre, and all people can do is claim that everything made in that genre is a clone. When no, they're just made in that genre. I'm sure, like, you know, the last boss is face dude shooting rectangles at me. Like, yeah, that's that's a total Star Fox ripoff, but. The, um, because, I mean, that was kind of a famous last boss fight. Right. But, uh, the, the game as a game really isn't Star Foxy. Um, it's way more old school than that. Because Star Fox was pretty, was very modern in its, in its way. <clears throat> Whereas this is just, you, you could, you, if you had told me that this was a port of an arcade game, I would have believed you back in the day. That makes sense. Also, my ship looks like a sword from the side. Like, you're super, super long. Way longer than you look. Just pulling the official gallery here. Why can't... <laughs> my buddy Carrie's like, Why can't WoW be a RuneScape clone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we... Yes, we could have... We should have recorded that. Except that we didn't have recording equipment and we were homeless and stuff so like yeah that's kind of the that's kind of important to consider okay stage five boss here we go looks a lot like the stage uh three boss mm -hmm. what stage am I, on? <laughs> I don't i don't remember anymore does it look like a giant asteroid <laughs> Uh, no? I already beat that one. Oh, then you're on to the, yeah, the rotating thing with the little ball in the, in the center. Yeah. How do I... Uh, I guess I'm close. Did you just come out of a metal corridor? Yeah. Okay, you're stage six. Already in okay. home base. Dang it, I Did I... The boss? I blew the boss up! Yay! Okay, stage clear. Wait, does that mean I'm going to stage seven? Yeah. Sweet, I'm going to the last stage. Yep. Welcome to Heat. Man, World. I only used um, I only used that password from GameFAQs, That one password, so that just kind of gave me six lives, and now I'm like actually about to beat the game. Very cool. Well, I mean, I say about to beat the game, you know. I mean that in the sense that I'm on the final stage. That doesn't mean shit. <laughs> I could, I could, I could, I could spaghetti it all right now. But yeah, the the password that I remember most is Showtime in asterisks, which allows you oh. to select your stage. Blue laser. Also, yeah, this. Uh, well, actually, I was about to say, oh, this like fire stage. It's totally like the you know the, the sun solar stage from Star Fox 64, but actually, uh, it reminds me a lot more of a much older shmup, not an end-of-the-screen shmup, mind you, but the other Gradius game, Salamander, which famously, its most famous boss is a dragon of fire, like a serpent dragon of fire that flies around the screen, huh. and the stage has, like, serpent dragons of fire that keep popping out of a lava. So that, that's part. That's also one of those things why I say like stuff is not automatically like clones or like necessarily one cloning one thing. Because you could argue that that stage in Star Fox 64 had you know that stuff in it as kind of a throw to Gradius because it is just a schmuck, right? After all, well, that makes sense. And Gradius and R Type and uh, Darius are and right are like you know, the most famous of all the schmucks. Head. Blue laser! I don't know if anybody's gonna get that reference. I do, but commandos and they fight against blue laser! Just the villains. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you around. Oh. Have a Good night, time. person. Adios, amigo. I'm just hoping against hope. 
I thought I oh that's nice. I'm hoping against hope that I can get to the boss with a decent amount of health because I've got fully powered up blue laser. And then I get to see this uh, this face boss. There are two. Let's see if he can beat me with his face. There are two health refills, by the way. In the stage, yeah. or because I've already passed one. Okay, the second one's a little harder to get to, so you'll have to be prepared to shoot. Man, there is a lot of blue laser power-ups, by the way. Yeah. I wonder if I should go for a low percent, where I get, like, the least amount of score possible. Well, uh, wouldn't the low percent be more, um, uh, brain, 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 more, uh, never picking up a power-up? Or a health? Um, it would, it would be more like just playing it passively, and only shooting when you had to. Uh, pacifist run. Pretty much. So I guess if you call it pacifist. I just think that's a contract player's call. It usually low percent in a game like this tends to be don't use power ups. Right, makes sense. Like they do that with Contra as well. <laughs> it is a uh, low percent passive this one, which is freaking crazy to me. Like I can't beat that game normally. <laughs> I've beaten a couple Contra games. Yeah, I've seen some amazing Contra runners. Yo, Mac Rack, yep, what's you up? can you can blame me, uh, Macaroon Raccoon. Yeah, this was, uh... Boss! This was Jason Main Jason. frame! Yep, here we go. Here we go. Final boss. Full power laser. Blue laser. Blue laser! Even this first part of this thing actually looks like something from Star Wars. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, like, oh no, I died! No. Okay, come on. Double laser. Double blue laser. First phase is actually the toughest. So... After that, that funny. phase two is free. Yeah, well, I died again, and I had no lives, uh, so... As long as you hang out toward the edge really during dumb. phase two, then you should be good. But phase three is a little bit more challenging. You just have to stay on your toes for that one, and you won't take damage. Right. Well, I am going to be using another one of those passwords, but screw that noise. <laughs> There's no way I can, like, honestly do that. Although now I wish I had written down my own password, but whatever. We're just gonna... Yeah. Whatever. It's not an honest run anymore. It wasn't for a while, but oh. shut up. <laughs> okay, so X V P D B F. No B P six F F. Yeah, the font isn't the easiest in the world, but it's readable. At least to some extent. Legible is important. This actually starts me with uh, yellow laser, but obviously I'm going to swap it. Interesting. Yeah, so that power, the passwords don't even give you like, the best laser. So I feel less uh, bad about it. Of course, it, it might even be a matter of, you know, whoever was putting together that game facts page just took their own yeah. password. Yeah, most likely. Just, just having a yellow laser at, at the beginning of stage 7 sounds like something that someone who thinks it's good to keep a yellow laser all the way through would do. I mean, I'm a, I'm a tad curious about, like, if there's a fun meaningful, like, functional difference to having, like, different levels of lasers, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, if it turns out that actually, you know, level 3 green is, like, stupidly good against the last boss for some reason. Yeah. You know, I could you know, do something some silly like that. that yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you can't tell me that this phase 3 is not at least inspired. I mean, if it's inspired by We'll boss, see. Then... We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll do it. You're still on hard mode, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never changed anyway. Oh! I, do the passwords, like, alter the game difficulty? Ooh, that I'm not sure of. Like, I don't... Like, I think that the, the damage I've been taking has still been... And considering hard mode is... Mm, considering hard mode is, uh option menu thing, I, I can't imagine the password. Yeah, I'm not 
not sure if that's gonna be a thing. Oh, that's so dumb. That is dumb, bad, bad, dumb. Just wants. Oh, screw you, game. Doing that on purpose. Yeah, this this game was well. It was definitely my first shooter game, and uh, it was among the top five or the first five games I ever played in my life. I think not even just Game Boy Advance games. I mean, like video games. Period. Like, they already have a bit of knowledge of how to work with things, first of all. And also... Oh my crap! You know, the nostalgia factor... Sorry, I'm doing worse. I'm doing worse this time. Alright. So I just beat down the SHOOT THEM! That right there, which I just did, is what Jason is currently doing. Jam to the credits again. Sad. Real talk though, this music. It's good stuff. This music is on YouTube or anything. Like, you actually have to beat the game to even hear this music. It's not GDQ, but take a shot, check off that part of your bingo. Heck. The runner just <laughs> called the, the soundtrack so good. Okay, okay, here we go. Attempt numero dos at this boss. I have five lives, I have full health, I have full blue laser. Sounds like you're set. Alright, so I guess I'll do I'm going to if you need it. Just kinda, kinda do the big circle like in stage five, the first phase, and just watch out yeah. for any bullets that might come your way. Yeah. Shoot him, don't get hit. I <laughs> got So the trick is to shoot them while simultaneously dodging their attacks. <laughs> okay, stage two. Yeah, that game is so good. It's pretty fun. And funny. All right. And yet it's the most hated of all the EDF moves. You're gonna wanna go down and left down and right right away. And then just kinda hang out toward the top of the screen. Okay, come on, show me your face. I'm gonna shoot it. It's a good thing this is not being um, aired in any other context. <laughs> the flamethrowers mean everything to me because they just killed me, but they mean nothing to me also. follow you, but sometimes it'll swap by 90 degrees suddenly. Then yeah, you just stop in place. There, I got him! Nice. Then you just gotta stop in place for a couple seconds and wait for it to switch back and you're good. Stage clear! So enjoy your credit sequence. Oh, I am going to enjoy you burned it. the heck. Yeah, you're darn right I have. Sub hour though. It's not only hard mode, the first time I've ever played the game. Yeah, very good then. I remember the thrill of finally beating Stage 2 when I was on the road at age, like, 8 or 9. And then later that day, I beat Stage 3 and then got stuck on Stage 4. The Congratulations! You defeated the Iridian Empire! Planet Earth is safe again, but only time can tell if peace will remain. Foreshadowing. 
Iridian was developed by... Oh, wait, this is, like, actually... <laughs> Oh! How do I not... Well, no wonder it's such a good like, shooter game. It was made by Shina. Yep. They make a lot of good stuff. Yep. And it's all like really old school, score pounding, you know, shootery. Like, they're, they're an old school style team. <laughs> they're good. They're, they're a good team, though. That's like a cult, you know, beloved company. Definitely. Yeah, they're based in Germany, right? Sure. No, I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese team. Really? Like, unless this is um. Completely different than the one I'm thinking of. Oh, let me look it up earlier. I'm being curious now. They're the same ones that did Fast Racing and uh, Nano Stray. Based in Munich. That's correct. Hmm. In 1999. Yeah, it must be a different company than the one I'm thinking of. They're former members of the demo scene group Abyss. Oh, cool. Since been an official Nintendo second party developer. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's totally different. different group. I'll, uh. Shoot you some, I'll shoot you some stuff about that team I was thinking of. Alright. Later. And like I said, they do very old school, very arcade -y. Um, like high challenge games like this. Mm -hmm. Take your game up, Jack. I love that because they don't have A and B e for the letters of the password system, mm -hmm. gallery had to be written with a 4 and a 3. Yeah. I think they did that so the letters and numbers didn't get confused. Oh no, they definitely did that because there's no O. Right. Just a zero. Which I appreciate, and there's no I. I think they're actually... <laughs> the only vowel is... Let me see here. Yeah, the only vowel. No vowels. No vowels. Okay. So just consonants. Let's go to options. In fact, all of the consonants. What? Oh, I'm pissed. The password actually did set the game level to normal. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that's really... That was a lot. Still, though. It's, it's quite an accomplishment even to just complete the game. Yeah, um, I do want to... <laughs> I like to buy a bell. I do want to... Reset here and show everyone the intro. Because this this is just really 